Welcome back. Well, recovery for the mid-cap index, so just about lower by around 200-odd points. We have the Bank Nifty also, which is just about trading with a little bit of a negative bias. You'd have to say that there's definitely a good recovery which has taken place. IT seems to be the flavor of the week. TCS, that one is up around 2.5% at this point. It's gained around 1.7% this week. HCL Tech also doing well, so up around 1.8% for that particular counter. Infosys giving it company as well as LTI Mindtree. So that particular section seems to be really gaining some amount of traction and has been for the entire week. Separately, Apollo Hospitals, good margin uh, improvement is what they're indicating. So that stock is one of the top gainers on the Nifty as well. But I'm watching Divi's Labs because uh, Kotak um, came out with a report on Divi's. They have a, re a sell and they have a target price of 3,600. According to them, Intresto, which is basically a drug by Novartis, which is used for heart failure, and is one of Divi's largest drugs in its CDMO portfolio, which is contract drug and manufacturing. Uh, there could be a downside risk to Divi's on account of possible uh, generic competition in, uh, entering into Intresto earlier than anticipated because uh, there was a U.S. District Court ruling uh, which ruled against blocking MSN, which is another pharma company's generic entry of Intresto. So basically, they are more favorable towards a generic company entering into uh, this particular segment. Now, Kotak has not factored any generic entry before second half of FY26. So there's a fact, there's a possibility it could happen earlier than that. According to them, um, you know, the CDMO contract that Novartis has with Divi's on Interesto contributed around 8% of total sales and 19% of their CDMO sales in FY24. So that's how important a drug it is. And uh, they are keeping the estimates unchanged for Divi's at this point in time. But the generic entry looks imminent and it could lead to a 10% plus downside risk in the FY26, FY27 estimated EPS for Divi's. In any case, they say that the valuations are extremely expensive. So as you can see, uh, Divi's is down around 4 odd percent on the back of this fear that there could be more competition in one of their key drugs which they manufacture. Well, uh, on that note, it's a wrap on Halftime Report. Business Natural will take all the action forward.